Hi, in this video we are going to create this material, this water flow in Blender. So stick around until the end. If you are interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Before we begin, let me introduce our Asset Distro website, where you can explore a variety of free and premium assets. We offer high-quality game-ready assets and also Blender projects, all of which you are free to use in any of your projects. So be sure to check out our store at store.blackcave.com. First, let's create a plain mesh. Next, let's open the shader editor window. And then create a new material for the surface. Next, I need the water flow textures. Uh, these are my textures and I will use the normal map, water flow normal map. You can download these textures from our store. Right, let's import the normal map. Here I need to change the color space to non-color. Alright, now I need a normal map node. Connect the color to the color input and normal to normal input of the shader. Now let's switch to material preview using the Z key. To add a flow effect, I need to change the coordinate of the texture. Here I need to select the texture and then press Ctrl T. A texture coordinate node uh, now has been added. We have three fields uh, related to location here. I need to change them. For example, uh, I can change the X, Y, or Z. The question is, how can I implement this fact? I need to use time. Time gives me timing and frame rate of my project. But the problem is, Blender doesn't have a time uh, node by default. I created a time node uh, that we can utilize. Search for time. Here is the custom time node that you can download uh, this node and uh, this project from our asset store. If I press tab key, I can see uh, all the nodes inside the time. Here I get the time of the project and the most important uh, part is here, where we create a vector tree output, which we needed in this project. For example, location uh, receives a uh, vector tree input. We can uh, connect time node as a float uh, variable to the location, but it will apply the time value to all these fields. X, Y, and Z. Uh, I don't want it. I I want to uh, work with X or Y. Here, time node gives you this capability. I have two outputs here: time, which is a float uh, output, and time vector, which is a vector tree output. I need to connect the time vector to the location. So, how it works? I need to drag this corner and open a timeline. When I play the project, it doesn't work because I need to specify which axis I need to include. For example, in a time vector, I need X axis. I need to activate it. And now it's working. Or I can select Y and then play again or only Y. I can also change this bit, for example, uh, 0 0.2. That's yeah, very good. I don't want to dive into the time node structure. You can download it for free 
and see the structure. Now I have the water flow. Next, I need to add other textures. I will use this ground texture and you can use any texture you want. First, I need to drag the base color into the project and connect it to the base color. If I play the animation, uh, only the normal map is moving. The next texture is normal map. Let's import it and change it to non-color. I'm gonna combine these to normal map. First, let's add a normal map node for this, the second normal map, and then add a mix color. Here, I need to change the color to vector and then connect it first normal map and the second normal map and then connect the result to the normal input here i have uh, the both normal maps applied on the surface i can control them using the factor node this is good the next step, I need to configure the roughness. Let's drag the roughness map into the project and change it to non-color and connect it to the roughness. Let's switch to the rendered mode. It's better and let's change the position of the light. Good. The problem is the roughness of the water surface is different from the uh, roughness of the ground. So I need to add another mix color and choose this factor as the factor of the second mix color. Mix color and then connect it. And for the B input, I need to change this to black it means it's completely wet now i need a value i can control the factor easier with a value for example let's copy this value to this variable and connect this value to factor and also connect it to the second factor now if i change this value both the mix colors change this is good we can download this project and also time node from blackif.com slash store Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.